Hello my lovely SSMians, how are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. This is Sheetal Sapan Matre, welcome to my channel and today we are going to see what message Goddess Durga has for you, which form of the Nav Durga is with you and what is that form of Goddess Durga blessing you with. We're also going to see your tarot cards, angel cards, charms uh, in numbers as well and of course your wheel of fortune so let's get started with today's reading you have three options over here option number one is this lovely moonstone spear option number two is this sage bundle and Option number three is this green aventuring heart. So you can choose any option that you're drawn towards. In case if you're confused as to what option you should choose, you can just write one, two, three on three pieces of paper and just say, Dear Goddess Durga, what message you have for me? And then close your eyes and pick up any one number. Whatever number comes, that's going to be your pile. I always follow that and it really helps. So uh, the options are in front of you. Choose anyone and let's get started. Hello group one, how are you guys doing? I hope you're amazing as always. So uh, some of you had requested in the comments section for a special reading from Goddess Durga and I thought let's go ahead. So we are going to see what message Goddess Durga has for you, which form of the Nav Durga, that is the nine forms of Goddess Durga is with you and what are their blessings for you. We are also going to see your uh, uh, oracle cards, your angel cards, charms and a lot of interesting things. So you have chosen this beautiful rainbow moonstone. So clearly you are blessed with extremely high intuition. You know that what is good for you, what is not good for you. However, you still don't trust your intuition enough. You have this doubt and when something that your intuition told you happens, uh, you are like, oh my God, I should have listened to it. Any which way, uh, we all learn from our mistakes. So let's get started. Let's see what message Goddess Durga has for you. Message one. Message Two and message three. All right. I'm hearing the word painting. So maybe you were admiring her painting or you have a painting of Goddess Durga or maybe you're a very creative person. Now let's see your cards. All right. So you have got the death or the rebirth card. Now, clearly, you have been through a really painful cycle. And uh, while you were in this painful transformation, you were like, when are things going to change? When are things going to go my way? What is this happening? I never expected things to go this way. However, in this painful transition, you kept your faith alive. You kept on exploring your options. So please understand the worst part of your journey is over and new beginnings are on its way. This is the first message from Goddess Durga for you. The second message is the Queen of Cups. Again, this is resonating with the rainbow moonstone that you had selected. So there are two, three ways in this card is a message from Goddess Durga. First, Goddess Durga is telling you to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you to take right steps. Second, a woman is going to help you listen to her advice if you are guided. Third, some of you want to be mothers and uh, there are problems that you're facing in it. Don't worry, things will be fine. I also feel some of you had issues while uh, becoming a mother. Or second is, you're already a parent 
or you are an elder sibling and you're worried about uh, your children or your siblings okay somebody who's younger to you so that's uh, the uh, message also you're a very caring loving person you nurture everybody around you and at times you know in nurturing others you burn yourself out so it's time to take some time out and indulge in self-care the third message that you have got from goddess durga is three of wands so goddess durga is telling that all your dreams and your goals are going to get met however you need to do proper planning and strategizing you need to keep aside time for self care you need to keep aside uh things which you want to say no to you need to demarcate boundaries uh you need to delegate responsibilities stop putting everything on yourself also the support that you need will come to you all right don't worry if some of you are worried that okay i wish my dreams will happen but if it happens then how do i get the support that i need so don't worry the support that you need will come to you now uh, let's see which form of goddess durga is with you so before i remove uh, this card let me tell you that we have uh, goddess lakshmi workshop and uh, this workshop covers all about connecting with goddess lakshmi in a simple way and uh, it has got a lot of rituals prayers mantras havan in case if you want to know more details about this workshop and understand the earlier participants experiences and of course to take to avail the early bird discount click on the link given in the pin comment now let's see which form of goddess durga is with you okay i'm going to shuffle this cards like this all right and what blessing you will get from this form of goddess durga okay one more all right let's see one by one the first form of goddess durga with you is devi siddhi datri okay fulfillment of aspirations just how we got the message from three of wands blessing of knowledge wish getting fulfilled wow this is what your tarot cards were also saying i'll keep this over here the next form of goddess durga which is with you is devi mahagauri blessing of self realization purification of mind blessing on love life and marriage wow this is amazing so whatever you have undergone okay it this entire transformation which was painful but it has made you realize lot of things the self realization has been tremendous and um, now what do you do with the self realization that is goddess mahagauri going to guide you with okay let me keep your card over here okay i think i'll keep this card over here and this over here okay let's your next card devi skand mata throat chakra blessing of fame wealth prosperity blessing of communication so clearly you are somebody who works in the field of communication either you are a trainer life coach teacher or tarot card reader uh, or uh, or somebody who uses words okay so the blessing coming your way is fame and wealth and also you're going to be fluid in your communication earlier you may have had instances wherein you wanted to communicate a but you were not able to communicate a in a very effective way so that is going to go away all right i'll keep this over here so this is beautiful you are getting blessing of love knowledge wish fulfillment fame prosperity so group 1 definitely all the suffering that you went through goddess mother acknowledges it and now she is going to bless you now let's see what your oracle cards are going to tell us i've already removed your oracle cards let's see them one and one by one delight wow so definitely all these blessings that you are going to get from goddess lakshmi is going to give you lot of delight you're going to be so happy so content and you'll be like you know what finally i get my share of happiness teacher look not surprising you got the throat chakra and you got the teacher so first 
if you are a teacher or a mentor or a boss definitely expect a lot of growth and blessings from goddess uh, durga also you're going to get the blessing of knowledge right and uh, this there is going to be somebody very powerful who speaks less who is going to help you with more knowledge that's lovely let's see your next card wow lord hanuman so lord hanuman is with you and let's see the blessings coming your way from him capacity to persevere and obviously with the uh, death and rebirth card that's not surprising physical strength fighting ability superhuman power to accomplishing accomplish acts of service ability to increase one's attitude of love in performing selfless service so first lord hanuman is also blessing you eight second you have been through this really painful experience and you want to help others okay you, your life has not been easy and you used to earlier wonder that why am i going through all this pain and suffering however rather than letting your suffering create a victim or a ven or a vengeance you decided to use your pain to uplift others by being selfless okay so obviously lord hanuman will help you to perceive your to kind of turn your pain into uh, a very helpful tool for others and for yourself all right and we have uh, lord ram and sita over here as well so clearly your heart is full of love for the divine no matter what you went through there was one thing which was constant and that was love for god you fought with god you you kind of you know even got upset but you never ever let go of god or your faith okay so that's beautiful group one now let's see what the other cards are saying star seed again not surprising so a uh, group one you have taken birth on this earth not only to uplift yourself but uplift others as well ask yourself what lights you up what makes you full of vitality and excitement and uh, if that's your calling and if that's for your highest good and other people's highest good follow it all right let me keep this card over here let's see what you need to surrender as per goddess durga surrender to silence you need to let go there is so much of chaos going in your head your mind is fogged f o g g e d with lot of uh, questions and uh, you know you are you are i feel that you are really burdened you have to do so many things for so one so so many people like everywhere you are at the um front okay uh, whether it is a personal life professional life and somewhere you feel so burdened that is at times you wonder where where where, where do i have, i have time for myself so surrender to silence okay spend some time alone so that you are able to hear your own voice let me keep your card over here okay let's see wow so goddess durga is definitely going to bless you with an extremely beautiful gift and this gift is going to uplift you and make you feel so so happy now let's see the blessings coming your way from goddess durga okay i'm also going to use my tea leaf cards to know what blessing is going to come your way we will also see uh, charms and uh, intuition as well okay let's see this card is showed up first blessing someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change so clearly you have someone in your life who is very stubborn not willing to change and you feel that okay i should change them or maybe they'll change one day so accept how they are don't be in uh, don't don't be like okay they'll change themselves they are what they are now you decide how to handle them in a way which is wherein you are not getting walked over all right so the blessing coming your way is somebody who is extremely stubborn you will learn to handle them at the same time they will also become a little flex flexible i'll keep your card over here 
let's see the next blessing success wow the next blessing coming your way from what is durga is success success in lot many things as we saw in your um in your cards uh, the black which goddess durga is with you we saw that you get going to get fame wealth prosperity success in communication knowledge so lot many blessings coming your way group 1 now let's see your next blessing okay a blessing for good men and fathers so if you are a man or you identify as a man clearly this card is telling you that you are going to get blessing from goddess durga for all the efforts that you put in to be a good person secondly if you uh, if you are a woman or you identify as a woman and you are watching this video clearly all the amazing men in your life whether it is your father whether it is your spouse or your brother or your son lot of blessings are going to come their way from goddess durga all right now let's see which box is applicable to you let me keep your card over here let me just shuffle okay what's this green or the teal box okay let's see what's there in the box for you this is your box let me keep it over here let's pick it one by one first you got mind is everything so you have not not surprising let me keep this over here you have got the queen of cups okay queen of cups is all about emotional wisdom so here this card is again telling you that focus on your mental abilities mental strength all right let me keep it over here let me just remove you have got umbrella which talks about protection support so you have the support that you need okay you have got the charm wherein uh the ball is falling on the other side and this person is kind of uh the hands are on the other side of where the ball is going to fall so here it looks like this person is about to miss an opportunity however that's not so because their eyes are on the ball and they can clearly you know kind of turn the other way and catch the ball similarly the death card said that you know you missed some opportunity however it's you're going to get a chance again so be hopeful you got the fairy uh, charm which means that you are connected to the fairies as well you are very uh, you are very careful of the environment you try your best you may be vegan or vegetarian you may be or you may, or you are very concerned about the environment and you ensure that you take care of it okay that's amazing The next you have got is the lamp. So you did get the teacher card over here, and not surprising, you got the lamp as well, which means you are going to spread lot of light. Okay, you got more things. Let's see it one by one. You have got over here tree. Okay, so tree represents growth, knowledge, prosperity, and um, lot of. oxygen as well it it is an important for the environment so definitely a lot of uh, fresh air coming into your life because of fresh new changes at the same time a lot of prosperity as well i'll keep it over here you got go all right so whatever was stuck was going to move on, move ahead in your life now let's see what else you have got you have got time okay like the clock all right so the time earlier was not in your favor however now it's going to be in your favor don't worry you have got look so goddess durga is sending you lot of love all right and she really loves you and she knows that you love her a lot too you have got the number 85 so goddess durga is telling you that there will be positive changes in your finances especially okay big happy changes now let's see your alphabets what they are going to tell us it could be your 
first name, middle name, last name, or it could be initials, or it could be a word that requires your attention. Okay. Interestingly, you don't have an N. Otherwise, Durga, you in this you had D. You don't you you don't have U, but D R G A. Okay. So let's just also assume. Though there is no, okay, why not? Isn't that beautiful? All right, so these are your alphabets. Your alphabets are L, F, K, N, D, R, G, A. See the words that they are forming with this. And now let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to say, tell us. But before that, let's see by when you're going to get all these blessings. What is Durga? By when will you bless? Will you be blessing Group One with all the blessings? Okay, so you have got. Uh, so the minimum time frame is one day, one month, one week, one year. Of course, you have to pray and take action and follow the right karma as well. All right, Group One. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button, do subscribe to my channel, do watch the link given in the pinned comment, and also uh, I do. I am on Instagram. We are a family of twenty nine thousand people over there, and we're also a family of eighty eighty one thousand on Facebook. If you want to be a part of my WhatsApp broadcast list, my Telegram channel, my Instagram channel, all the links are given in the description. And of course, I am going to come up with uh, Durga rituals. Yes, uh, for the ni next nine days, how you can please different forms of Goddess Durga, how you can get her blessings like every year. And uh, I, uh, I hope you follow the same and enhance your life. All right, take care. Bye bye. Hello, Group Two. How are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as always. So today we are going to see what message Goddess Durga has for you. We're also going to see which form of the nine, uh, which nine forms of the Goddess Durga is with you. All right. So you have chosen this beautiful sage, which means that. You have been working on protecting yourself. You have been really trying your best to stay away from negative people, toxic people. And you have been kind of focusing more on clearing your energies. All right. And Goddess Durga is also telling you that she is with you, protecting you. So there is no need to worry about what other people are doing. All right. Now, let me keep it over here. Now, let's see what message Goddess Durga has for you. Message one. Message two. I'm kind of seeing books and uh, it looks like you're procrastinating something. So please ensure that you are not procrastinating and you're doing things on time. All right, let's see your first card. You have got the seven of swords. So clearly somebody has cheated you. Somebody uh, from whom you were not expecting betrayal has kind of put you down and that has been so hurtful. Some of you feel you know, that why is, why is it that people take advantage of your niceness? The second message is Goddess Durga wants you to follow the right path. If for any reason you are diverting from the right path or if there are temptations thrown at you, do not fall for that. All right. Let's see your next card. You have got the eight of swords. So Goddess Durga is telling you that, yes, you, you feel trapped. You feel stuck. Okay. And you feel that how how do i move ahead how do i break these obstacles and go ahead so goddess durga is telling you that you need to start opening your mind and your eyes for possibilities rather than 
looking at the closed door look at the doors that are available to you that are open to you and start exploring those okay the next message that you got is death or rebirth so don't be disheartened okay this is goddess durga's message she's not saying that she's going to bring this in your life okay so chill so this message is telling you that yes you have been through a lot of ups and downs and this ups and downs have been really really very painful and disturbing however every time you have undergone a major painful event in your life you have come out of it as well with the help of divine support with the help of goddess so goddess durga is telling you that yes there is darkness but there has always been light as well so rather than focusing on the darkness focus on the light okay and goddess durga wants you to kind of do a lot of self reflection as well what are your strength what are your weaknesses how you can be a better version of yourself what mistakes have you done what mistakes you could have avoided so just spend some time contemplating self reflecting that would really really help you now let's see what blessing is coming your way from goddess durga wait first let's see which form of goddess durga is with you and what she is going to bless you with all right so before i remove this card let me tell you that goddess lakshmi workshop is coming up and uh in order to enroll for the same you can click on the link given in the pin comment to know more about the earlier participants experiences to know how how many interesting topics are covered in the same as well and of course to take advantage of the early bird offer as well all right now let's see which form of goddess durga is with you and what are the blessings coming from that form of goddess durga for you one and three okay so let's check them you have got devi katyayani okay goddess katyayani is with you she is blessing your third eye chakra which is going to result in a lot of clairvoyance wherein you will get a lot of visions which will be more clearer and you will get more um more clarity on the path ahead as well you are going to get a lot of profound dreams in which the goddess is going to guide you you're going to get blessing of love so this love does not only mean romantic love it means friendship good friends a harmony in life overall okay and you have got betrayal in the area of love okay and especially from relatives or people who whom you considered as family okay the next uh, goddess with you uh, is got goddess kushmanda all right and she takes care of the heart chakra so the blessing of healing from grief oh my god this is so amazing look goddess durga did tell you that you have been through really tough time and all this tough time has led to a lot of grief and she is going to heal you from it she is also going to bless you with good health having said that please ensure that you take proper medication and see the right doctor the next is devi brahmacharini now goddess brahmacharini uh, which is a very beautiful form of goddess durga is blessing your sacral chakra again harmony peace creativity a wish come true and overall obstacle removal so when you had chosen sage i did tell you that lot of stuck energy is going to go out of your life so if you have been really stuck with things things were not moving out expect it to change so the your wish is going to come through your obstacles are going to get removed you're getting a blessing of healing blessing of love that is so beautiful group 2 now let's see what are the other blessing coming from goddess durga okay okay you got two cards all right let's see them one oh they're already up you got feather 
someone you know is undependable, undependable and insincere. Okay, and you already know who it is. All right, and this uh, person whom you can't depend on and is insincere has caused you a lot of pain. Okay, and Goddess Durga is kind of going to get this person out of your life, or Goddess Durga is going to give you the strength to handle this person. Okay. The second is pleasure with a close friend. So yes, you know, uh, you are going to really have amazing friends with whom you're going to spend really great time outside, enjoying, traveling and laughing together. The other blessing coming your way is a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. So before you go, oh my God, what does this mean? Hold on. Okay. So you may have someone in your life or you may know someone who is really struggling okay it could be a pet animal it could be a loved one and uh, you have been wondering uh, somewhere you're ready to let them go but you really want it to be easy for them and you have been praying for it so that's the blessing coming from goddess durga uh, so that the person passes away in peace now let's see the other blessing coming from goddess durga for you okay a blessing to find the truth so uh this seven of swords person who has cheated you okay you will get to know a lot of truth about this person and that's going to really really kind of help you to understand their schemes their games all right so goddess durga is going to kind of demask people and show you the way ahead all right and uh, show you how insincere and undependable they are and also at times truth is not always negative it can be positive or as well for example if you come to know that hey you know there was some policy which you had taken years back and uh, you kind of forgotten about it and then you come to know the truth that oh my god there was a policy and i'm going to get a very good dividend on, dividend on it so that is as well. Now let's see what your other oracle cards are telling us. I have already removed your cards. Let's see them one by one. Okay, let me keep your two blessings over here. All right. Okay. Embrace. So here the card is telling you that have compassion for all those who have kind of hurt you because they did not have the right examples while growing up to understand what is genuineness what is uh, truthfulness okay at the same time uh, goddess durga wants you to accept the situation and accordingly create a strategy to move ahead all right now let's see your other card you have got lost now clearly my god group to what have you undergone i'm so sorry for all the all the loss that you have undergone um and goddess durga is telling you that whatever you lost will be replaced with something that will give you happiness and uh, that's why you got a blessing of healing from grief over here that's what i love you know about how everything is in sync this i shuffled and removed in front of you and this was already removed for you so whatever this grief is okay that you have gone through you just caused caused so much of grief you are going to get get the blessing of healing on the same okay all right the next blessing coming your way is a two cards okay hold on hold on hold on first is occupation and second is main female so it you could be this main female and you would be somebody who works really hard whether professionally or personally and uh, you this entire hard work uh, has kind of drained you and you feel that when am I going to receive when am I going to receive that peace of mind that uh, rest and sleep so that's going to happen do not worry uh, you're going to get I also feel that there has been some loss in business or uh, work that is going to get replaced let me keep your cards over here okay let's see so you have got the king of gods in the row with you and uh, what is this what is the blessing coming from 
Indra. Physical virility, wealth and success, heroism and leadership, security in times of aggression and war. So all the trauma drama that you underwent, you are going to get the blessing of security, that, that feeling of safety. And you did get uh, wellness, okay, physical virility, which again speaks about blessing of good health, which was shown with this card as well. However, please note, uh, do consult doctors for and continue with whatever treatment you're undergoing. All right, you're also going to get wealth and success. Isn't that beautiful? I'll keep your card over here. Now, let's see your other card. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So as I said, you have this person who betrayed you and uh, they were able to betray you because you did not set the right boundaries. You were knowing that this person is taking advantage of you, but you kind of ignored it. However, it's a learning lesson. You learned your lesson. Now it's time to kind of let go of it. Okay. In the sense, when I say let go of it, means letting go of resentment. Okay, not the lesson. All right, let me keep your card over here. Let's see what you need to surrender. Surrender to the beauty of natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So it is time to take a break from all this drama, trauma and relax yourself. All right. That will really, really make you feel so wonderful. All right. Now let's see uh, what box you have got. Okay, here it is. Oh, you got the red box. Now let's see what is there in the red box. All right, lot of things. Let's see them one by one. You have got never be afraid of change, okay? So yes, you have been through painful change, but don't be afraid of it as you always have come out of it. You got x and people okay so x represents creativity x can also represent fertility so if you have been having some fertility issues don't worry you also got devi kushmanda okay which also means the divine egg okay which created all right so Definitely a lot of creation of light in your life. You got people, so new people coming in your life are going to support you, who are going to make you feel so loved. You have got over here a vehicle. Now, vehicle represents movement, okay? So, a lot of movement coming and happening in your life. All right, you're going to move ahead real fast. Let me keep it over here. You have got over here, look at this. A sleeping a person who is sleeping and you did get a message from goddess Durga that take a relaxing break all right and this is again saying that so take some break you know, at times you should just take a break take a staycation where there is greenery and just sleep it out okay you have got gramophone which speaks about music and memories so listen to some relaxing music that can be really really helpful Let's see what else you have got. Okay, you have got the Eiffel Tower over here. All right, so again, growth. You have got a plane over here, which is again talking about vacation. Take a nice vacation. You have got the number 56, which means lot of of positive changes are coming in your love life, in your material life, in your spiritual life as well. So stay positive. That's what Goddess Durga is telling. Now let's see what words you have got. Okay, this could be first your alphabet, your first name, middle name, last name, or initials, or somebody else's first name, middle name, last name, or a word that requires your attention. Okay. All right, so these are your alphabets. They are 
there are three eyes one black tile and M R I A. All right, I also see it can also be okay. No, 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 I was going to say Maria, but A is missing. All right, okay, let me keep it over here and let's see when are all these blessings going to come in your life, okay. All right, so I got three, which means it can be three days, three months, three weeks, three years, okay? So minimum is three hours and maximum is three years. All right, that's amazing group two. Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. jackpot wow so you have got a jackpot which means goddess durga is going to bless you with an amazing jackpot isn't that awesome so group two i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and uh, yes um i do have an upcoming goddess lakshmi workshop the link is in the pinned comment take avail the early bird offer so that you get a nice discount at the same time i am there on instagram family of 29000 people i'm on facebook 81000 people and yes we do have an instagram channel telegram channel a whatsapp broadcast list uh, you can be a part of all of this all the links are given in the description of this video Take care of yourself, share this video with your friends and family so that they can also enjoy a message from Goddess Durga. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my lovely SSMians. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. Today, we are going to see message from Goddess Durga for you. We are going to see different uh, tools as well. We're going to see which form of the Nav Durga is with you and what blessing that three forms of Nav Durga are going to give you. So let's get started. You have chosen this beautiful green aventuring heart. When I'm holding this heart in my hand, I can see you meditating with a crystal and uh, you are praying for peace at the same time self-love as well i also feel that um, you're somebody who has worked really well on yourself with regards to uh, self-care practices journaling affirmation so you are on the right track is what i'm getting now let's see what message goddess durga has for you message one message two i'm seeing a yantra so maybe there is a yantra that you have of goddess durga could be or maybe a shri yantra okay now let's see the cards one by one ace of wands the first message that goddess durga has for you is that you work with fire offerings you have offered goddess durga a candle an oil lamp or a haven and goddess durga is accepting that with a lot of love she is also going to bless you with new beginnings creativity action that's so beautiful eight of pentacles so goddess durga is telling you that you are a very hard working person you are constantly putting your best you are also very dedicated and you are going to receive sorry it's almost uh, uh almost 12 a.m 12 a.m when i'm recording this video so i yawned i'm so sorry okay so goddess durga is telling you that you're a very hard working person you really give your best you are dedicated 
and you will receive the appreciation that you truly truly deserve also with these two cards goddess durga is telling you that there are there is going to be a new beginning in your career or business as well at the same time if you are a homemaker or a retired person goddess durga is telling you that yes there is going to be new beginning in your life which is going to help you to be busy and receive a lot of recognition at the same time when i look at both the cards there is this candle flame and this person this girl is holding a candle so clearly um, i do see that there has been a fire offering from your end okay as i said i don't do reversals because there are 10 different cards uh, 78 different cards and all the 78 cards have all the uh, aspects that life has to offer okay so you have got the 10 of cards so let me kind of read it both the ways so first the card was like this though i don't do reversals i can clearly see that there has been problems with family okay uh, it could be general harmony it could be conceiving it could be issues within a relationship but yes there were problems uh, and those problems are going to get resolved and there will be a happy family life okay so when i look at this three cards clearly there is a new beginning in your personal and in your personal and professional life point number 1 and also goddess durga is going to kind of bless you with new beginnings all right and she's going to resolve the conflicts that you have been facing in your personal life uh, whether it is conception whether it is harmony and she's going to bless you with a lot of new beginnings now let's see let's first see which form of goddess durga is with you so these are the three uh three cards remaining and i feel that these three goddesses have chosen you all right that's why they did not come up in the other two piles so let's see one by one you have devi chandraganta with you who takes care of the slow solar plexus chakra which again represents the fire element oh wow so much of fire okay so blessing of protection and removal of fear is what uh, the goddess chandraganta is going to bless you with she's also going to give you a lot of confidence to go ahead and creativity as well you have got devi kalratri again blessing of fearlessness and protection look at this both the goddesses are blessing you with removal of fear and protection uh, goddess kalratri is also blessing you with spiritual powers all right so clearly there is some fear which is lingering in your mind and this could be related to your personal life family and uh, this fear is going to be replaced with faith and assurance from the goddess okay you have goddess kalratri with you so beautiful the next you have devi shell putri she takes care of root chakra and uh, she's going to give you financial blessings, security, support. All right. So if you're worried about, you know, taking care of your family financially, don't be worried. If you're feeling insecure that what if, you know, I'm not able to support my family financially, don't worry. You will be able to protect your family and you will be able to provide for your family as well. So there is no need to worry. So clearly you are getting a blessing of protection and blessing in terms of finances. And not surprisingly, this is what Eight of Pentacles talks about finances in terms of blessing and protection to your family as well. Now let's see what your cards are telling us with, with regards to blessing. Blessing for group three. Oh, you got two blessings. Lovely. We'll also see the tea leaf cards with regards to what blessings are going to come your way. All right. This card just kind of stood. Okay. 
this one as well and we'll take this one as well okay so let's see these cards one by one now this is a blessing coming your way you should accept valid criticism so with this is a blessing coming your way which means earlier um you had you you would get defensive if somebody criticized you because that used to be out of fear and since goddess durga is going to remove that fear criticism will not affect you you will be like okay if this is a constructive criticism i will take it if not then i'm not going to get bothered by it so criticism or negative comments are not going to have an impact on you beware of great pride so this is a blessing coming your way so you are going to realize all right that i should not be egoistic okay because the goddess chandraganta is going to bless your solar plexus chakra which takes care of ego and since this is a blessing coming your way we have to read the card in a positive way and in sync with your other blessing as well so clearly since goddess is going to heal your solar plexus chakra you will be able to get rid of that unnecessary ego and you will be able to accept criticism if it is good for you or if it is valid the next blessing coming your way is a long journey either physical or mental that will leave you wiser at the end so journeys are beautiful whether it is mentally a uh, mental journey or a physical journey it always helps us to be wiser what is a mental journey when you meditate and you go within that's a mental journey when you contemplate constructively you are on a mental journey and this contemplation helps us to understand our next steps all right so that's another blessing coming your way now let's see this card a blessing on your creativity i did tell you with this card as well and of course with the ace of wands not surprising this creative could be creativity could be in terms of work or literally a baby oh my god this is like too good you got a blessing of protection and two times you have got protection okay two times you got protection and look at this so this is a confirmation that yes you are going to be protected while you transition so for some of you i feel that you are worried about your family security okay or maybe there's a new journey or uh, that uh, new addition happening in your family while birth or while marriage and you are worried that what if uh, somebody's evil eye affects this new journey of yours do not worry you are protected you are safe of course you have to take all the practical action to keep yourself safe just because the goddess is protecting you does not mean that you stand in front of a lion okay take proper steps so that you are safe now let's see what your other oracle cards are going to tell us i want to remove them let me keep it over here be candid so this is about throat okay throat chakra app if you see over here so here um the goddess is asking you that be truthful say what you want to say without offending others but clearly as well all right and uh, goddess durga is telling you it is all right to express your concerns to her when you're talking to her or when you're talking to the divine you tend to hold back you're like oh am i sounding ungrateful or what if i say something and something negative happens because i said this to the goddess so she is telling you that it's okay talk whatever is in your heart just like you would talk to your own mother or or a friend all right uh, be candid you don't have to filter everything when you're talking to the divine of course you have to be respectful um that's what i am saying not the goddess but that's like a basic thing right so however be candid okay be be open you don't have to be like so uh filtered okay when you talk to the divine or just in general okay uh, don't be 
like you need to be wiser with your words but not too careful stuck energy so yes there has been a lot of stuck energy in your life in your personal life in your professional life and this stuck energy is going to get removed by the fire energy that the goddess is going to send in your life and this stuck energy which was making you feel crippled is going to get out this is so beautiful that's your next card you have Lord Sri Vishnu Narayan with you. So clearly you are somebody who prays to Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Narayan or you're connected to both of them. All right. And uh, that's what now Lord Vishnu is going to bless you with illumination of the heart, achieving all success in life, welfare for one's family. Oh my God. Look at this. This Look at the first thing. Illumination of the heart. You've got the Ace of Wands. Illumination. Energy. Then you've got achieving all success in life. You've got the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about the same thing. And then you have got the... A ten of cups which talks about welfare of one's family so look at this this is like a confirmation okay point number one illumination of the heart point number two achieving all success in life with the uh, eight of pentacles and the third point wow this is so 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 cool isn't it i'll keep your cards over here all right and let's keep lord sri vishnu over here Thank you so much. Okay, that's your next card. You have got double mission, channeling and uplifting hum humanity. So you are a, an amazing channel and you tend to receive this energy from the divine and you use it to uplift humanity, to help others. And this is such an amazing trait of yours and you have received a lot of blessings because of this and these blessings are going to uplift you and bring about a positive change not only in your life but in the life of others as well. Let's see what you need to surrender. Surrender your desire to control people. So what happens is when you're too good, you tend to be a little bit righteous, okay, or a little bit condescending, all right? And you tend to be more critical or less acceptable of people who are mean, all right? So stop being over-controlling as that can harm relationships, okay? And also understand that be more compassionate towards others at times people can behave the way they do because they have not seen the right examples while growing up or they did not they were so occupied with dealing uh, dealing with trauma that survival was their basic instinct and they could not really focus on aspects like love uh, giving um, kindness you know so yeah that's what this card is telling you about okay let people be the way they are let them learn their own lessons you don't get into that drama trauma oh my god look at this card you are going to receive sudden wealth you did get over here goddess shell putri who takes care of the root chakra and she is going to bless you with finance with sudden wealth and this sudden wealth is going to uplift you so beautifully isn't it this is so cool i'm so happy for you now let's see what your box is going to tell you so this is the last box remaining and let's see it. Oh, let's see the contents of it. Okay, I think this card, I should keep it like this. Because some somehow, you know, you were kind of feeling that when am I going to get this abundance that I have been waiting for? So the first thing that you have got is this fan which means a lot of fresh air coming your way, things that were hot is going to cool down. Okay, stuck energy going because when you switch on a fan, obviously the stale air goes away. All right, and yes, you're, you're also going to get a lot of fan following. Now this particular person is carrying a bird, if you see. And I'm also hearing the sound of the ambulance. So you have been really struggling, okay? You have been really working hard, trying to put everybody at ease. And that has been stretching you out. So the, so the divine is telling you things are going to go better. Don't worry. Oh my God. 
look at this this is so amazing now this is the card that was uh, this is the uh, charm which was remaining and you got this was the two cards that were remaining all right of the goddesses forms that are with you they both spoke about protection and you got evil eye which again speaks about protection so if you're worried about something you know if you're worried about am i safe is my family safe you are safe from negativity okay you are just just have faith of course you have to take action to protect yourself in real life as well okay you got over here sunday i feel that on sunday uh, either you do rituals okay for protection or you connect or this can also mean take some time off and relax okay you got visiting over here so i feel you know that the goddess is saying that she's going to visit okay this navratri and she is also looking forward for all the love that you're going to share with her you have got a home and you have got keys over here okay look at this so definitely the blessing coming for you from goddess durga is a new home as well or a happy family life as well since this was indicated with the 10 of cups as well okay let's see you have got look at this you have got zatki okay can you see it can you see zatki is written over here okay so that archangel zadkiel is an archangel of prosperity and forgiveness which has come in your cards you did get prosperity with this message okay and this message so definitely a lot of prosperity coming your way and you did get about forgiveness from this card all right so that's important to forgive people not everybody is going to be an angel they are at different soul level they will become some in some lifetime an amazing pe person but they have a journey to and we need to respect that let's see you have got the angel number 74 okay so you are some somehow connected to the angels as well and uh, angels are known as devdoot in hinduism so you have a lot of angels devdoots with you protecting you they are they are telling you that you are on the right path and you got your number 7 as well so you are on the right path don't worry at times you start wondering am i doing something wrong okay of course uh, if you feel that way that you're doing something wrong then you can always correct it now let's see what words you have got over here this could be your first name middle name last name or your initials or a word that requires your attention okay all right so you have got over here o double a s q e e w c y so see the alphabet or the words that you can get from this uh alphabets i see w a y a way that will get created for you all right that's what i'm getting over here now let's see by when are you going to receive all the blessings that goddess durga has told you okay let's check that first all right so you have got 6 now the number 6 could mean 6 hours 6 weeks 6 months or it can mean 6 years as well okay i think since you're going to get the blessings okay in terms of home uh, uh, you get going to and you got the blessing of protection so it's like whatever energy you created with regards to protection it's going to be like for 6 years at least okay um, that's what i'm getting but 
keep on continuing to do your rituals and all for protection i also feel with the number six over here is that for some it's a baby okay and uh, it may start okay maybe in six hours six months six weeks or uh, as I said, within six years as well. So ever, since it's a general reading, the time is going to vary. All right. So let's hope for the best and the earliest for you. And of course, divine time as well. Now let's see what the Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us, Guru. Three. So think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. Uh, before I spin the wheel, I do have Goddess Lakshmi workshop coming up. In case if you want to know more details about this workshop, the link is given in the pinned comment. And um, yes, you can avail the early bird offer as well. Now let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. You have got before no miracle, okay? Like it's the answer is miracle. So I feel that you had experienced a no with regards to a wish and that no is going to get converted into a miracle okay isn't that beautiful congratulations group three so group three i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and uh, yes do visit the goddess Lakshmi workshop link i'm there on instagram with wherein we have a family of 29,000 people i'm there on facebook as well where we are a family of 80 or 81,000 people i have a whatsapp broadcast list uh, telegram channel instagram channel you can be a part of all of that the links are given in the description we are we would be sharing goddess durga rituals very soon you can follow this ritual for the nine days and get all the blessings that goddess durga has in her heart for you all right share this video with friends and family and like this video subscribe to my channel if you're guided take care of yourself goddess durga blessings to you bye bye